Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's Celebration Assembly. Hope you've had a good week. Uh, first week back after half term, doing remote learning and being in school. Uh, now, on Monday, we received the brilliant news from the Prime Minister that we're all back to school on Monday, the 8th of March. We're really, really excited here at Falcon to get you all back. Uh, and get our lives a little bit back to normal. So I hope you're looking forward to that. And as I said, we're really looking forward to seeing you uh, a week on Monday. Right, let's get cracking with this week's assembly. On this day, 26th of February, 1797, the first ever one pound note was issued by the Bank of England. Now that picture there isn't an original uh, one pound note. That's one that me and probably some of the other staff can remember from when we were kids. I don't think I ever got that much as pocket money and getting a one pound note when you were young was really special. Um, it was replaced in 1983 with a one pound coin. Now, some of you might never even known there was a one pound note, but there was also used to be a half penny coin, which lots of us growing up in the 80s will remember going to the shop and spending half a penny on sweets. That's long gone now as well. But if you ever get to see one of them, they're really tiny coins. If you see one of them, hang on to it. Now I have a couple of questions for you to puzzle over over the weekend. First one is this. How can you throw a ball as hard as you can and make it stop and return to you without hitting anything and with nothing attached to it? OK, so have a think about that one over the weekend and I'll get you the answers on Monday. And our second one this week is this. What can you put in a wooden box that would make it lighter? The more of them you put in, the lighter it becomes, yet the box stays empty. Falcon Flies this week, we've been looking at the Falcon value of inspiration. Right, we'll start in year four. We've got in the Hummingbirds, Ben E. Works incredibly hard throughout lockdown. And he's turned up every single meeting and completed all the work. He's obviously tried really hard in everything he does, so well done, Ben. In Flamingos, for inspiration, it's Maddie E. Uh, consistent effort with remote learning. We're really proud of the effort she's put in each and every day. Well done to you. In the Peacocks, it's Eliza M. Her hard work, determination, kind, caring manner is inspirational. Super role model to her peers and the perseverance she shows towards learning the guitar is particularly inspirational. Well done. The guitar is not an easy instrument. And in the Linnets, it's Finley H, uh, an inspirational member of the Linnets. He's worked hard all throughout lockdown and challenged himself, especially in English. So well done to all of you in year four. OK, into year five for our Flyers for Inspiration. So Bitten's class, we've got Sophia L for Inspiration. She just got straight on with every task as she's been set in home learning from the outset and made a beautiful presentation about Chinese New Year to share with us just before half term. She always worked so hard and coped brilliantly with online learning and a change of routine since she joined our school in September. Well done, Sophia. Uh, in Swift, it's Andrea. Inspirational work ethic throughout lockdown. She's worked really hard at school and been a delight to teach this week. In the Firecrest, it's Harry. Uh, made such an improvement in his effort to remote learning. He always contributes during Google Meets and has got lots of fantastic ideas to share. And lastly, in the Goldfinch, it's George T this week. Uh, he's been so dedicated to his work, he's always happy to share his ideas with others and produce work that he's able to inspire others as well. Brilliant, George. Right, thank you, Year 5, for all your work this week. Right, we'll head to Year 6, looking at the Falcon value of inspiration. And this week in Eagles, it's Finley R. For all his lovely work he shared with the class, his confidence has inspired others to give things a go. Thank you, Finley. In Canaries, it's Lyra G, inspiring the peers with thoughtful contributions to whole class learning. Excellent stuff. In The Robins, it's Deck for Tea, an amazing improvement in his approach and attitude to learning in lockdown this week. He's joined optional meets when stuck on work and put his all into tasks we've set. Keep it up. And finally, in The Doves, it's Jacob A, an inspirational approach to home learning and always tries his hardest. Thank you, Year Six. Right, into year three for inspiration. In the Wrens, it's Charlie R. He is a true inspiration to the class, always contributing in Google Meets and in the classroom. His work is fantastic, and he puts an enormous effort with the home learning. In the Jays, Esme. Esme has been inspiring her bubble with her fantastic effort, great ideas, and positive attitude. In the Kingfishers, it's Shreya. 
She has shown creativity in completing home learning and thinks of learning projects to do at home. So well done you. And finally in the puffins, it's Jaden M. He's been working so hard on his remote learning and he's even been trying the harder challenges. As well as this, he's been keeping active and helping his mum with a horse lot and lots. Right, thank you, year three. Lots of happy birthdays to get through because we've got half term and this week as well. So here we go. Bonnie in the Canaries on the 13th, you were 11. Reuben in the Goldfinches, you were 10. And Harry in the Jays, you were 8. In the Firecrest on the 17th of February, Zainap, you were 10. And Chase in the Jays, you were 8. On the 19th, Elena in Bittens, you were 10. Lacey in Linux, you were 9. And Millie in you were eight and on the 20th of February in the Jays, Nyla, you were eight. Happy birthday to all of you. On the 21st of February in the Peacocks, Oscar M, you were nine. Happy birthday and Jack in Swifts, you were 10. On the 22nd of February, Lila in the Puffins, you were eight. Jay in the Goldfinches, you were 10 and Jensen in the Bins, you were 10. Happy birthday to you three. On the 25th of February, uh, Taylor in Firecrest, you were 10, and Loretta in Firecrest, you were 10. And uh, finally, on the 26th of February, Hivan in Canaries, you were 11, and Inchi in the Bins, you were 10. Happy birthday to you. And finally, on the staff, Mrs. Austin on the 20th of February, and Miss Marguerite on the 22nd of February. Happy birthday. So thank you everyone for a really good week. Next week is our last week of remote learning and our last week of the critical worker care in school. So we're getting ready next week to welcome you all back on Monday the 8th. So really looking forward to that. And uh, as I said, we'll see you all really soon. Bye everybody.